Back to the uh, project. Mm -hmm. Unplugged and unplanned. And probably unnecessary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> any new uh, any new songs on this? Uh, one called Nothing to Prove. It's not new. It was on my last project as far as the all singing project. It's written by Dan Dean. Let's talk about that one. Oh, it's a Go great ahead. song. Uh, Pastor Jones at the Grace Church in Humble, Texas uh, always said this. He said, I want to die with nothing to prove, nothing to lose, and nothing to hide. And when he died, Dan Dean of Phillips Craig and Dean wrote that's the song Nothing to Prove and I loved it the second I heard it I called Bill and read him the lyrics and and uh, and I think it's a song that honors our parents that have not been perfect but when I was a kid they were pretty perfect I mean at least daddy was in my eyes and because he was always calm you know mama was daddy only talks when he has something to say me and Mama talk until we have something to say. <laughs> we figure if we talk long enough, something brilliant will fall out. But uh, I'm thankful for my parents because, you know, they told me God believed in me and that God liked me and that God had a plan for my life. Well, every night they'd tuck me into bed and say, one day God's going to use you. But until he does, take this pill, which was Ritalin. <laughs> you know, I used to have ADHD. You know that, don't you? Mm -hmm. But I dropped the H when I turned 50. Because I'm tired of following my brain around the room. I sit in a lazy boy and watch it. <laughs> but I, I love that song, Nothing to Prove. Um, and I see it on the faces of people in the audience. I can tell whose parents maybe have gone on to heaven and, and what the impact they had on their lives. Because you can see it on their faces. Per personally or professionally, do you feel like you have anything yet that yet to prove? Not really, I can think of. Because I've never had any plans, really. I, I wanted to be in gospel music after the Lord called me, especially. And I would go to Estes Park and, as a registrant back in the day in GMA mm -hmm. and uh, just dream of being on that stage and dream of, you know, Sandy Patty knowing my name, I remember thinking, I wish she, I wish we were friends, you know. And a lot of those dreams and beyond have come true. And I found out there ain't nothing to them. You know, don't look at us and think, wish you could know us. We're all a pack of freaks. <laughs> the Bible's full of freaks, frauds, and failures. That's the only kind of people Jesus or God seems to use. So if you're broken and you look at someone like Sandy Patty or Bill Gaither or Mark Lowry or whoever else you, that comes to your church and sings, Man, don't look up to them. They're just pots trying to pour out the water, and the water is Jesus. You know, don't fall in love with the pot. Don't put the pot on a pedestal, mm. because they will, they'll let you down. Keep Jesus on the pedestal. So that's one thing I learned, is by going to those events through the years. I knew I couldn't sing as good as any of them, but I knew I could out-talk all of them. <laughs> At least that was my arrogance. <laughs> You know, I think I...